Hello and welcome to day 11 of our 21 days of joy journaling challenge. So it's called 21 days of joy because we are accessing the joy of journaling and it's a 21 day journaling challenge. <laughs> Just as a reminder, it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. So I hope that by taking part in this challenge, you can create a beautiful habit of processing, exploring and expressing your feelings and yourself through journaling. If you're in the orange room right now, you can go over to the topics and click on practical teachings and there's one called the joy of journaling and you can find out loads more about journaling. And if you are on Instagram right now, um, you can... Sorry, my mind went blank then because I was thinking at some point I might share this on Facebook. But um, <laughs> but yeah, if you're on Instagram, you can go to my IGTV and check out my guided journaling session, which is there. So yeah, and if you want to join the Orange Room, the link in my bio will um, take you there. It's my online community. But anyway, grab your journals, write today's date, write down where you are, write down how you're feeling, and write down one thing that has happened over the past 24 hours that you are grateful for. It could be something you thought, you saw, you experienced, you smelled, you tasted, but let it be something current. For me, I wanna express some gratitude for forgiveness. I'm grateful for forgiveness and understanding. And I'm grateful for it on a whole. Over the past 24 hours, I'm grateful for it even more. Because I had a moment where I was struggling with something and I was a bit snappy, to say the least, towards someone. And I wasn't, I, I wasn't very pleasant. That's my confession. But they were so understanding and forgiving. And when I look back on, you know, just how much of a nightmare I can be when I'm struggling um, and how patient they are, I felt even more grateful and very remorseful too. So there's my gratitude mixed with a confession. No one's perfect. We all do things that we need to apologize for but having people around us that forgive us and um, yeah, who are understanding, it's, uh, it's a gift. So there's mine, write yours. Write down how you're feeling too. And then for today's unique prompt, I want you to write about how you cope with things going wrong. Are you prone to panic? Or do you always try to see the bright side and write out some examples? This prompt is great for self-reflection, self-development. If you do find that you're prone to panic, it's a good way for you to identify that and to perhaps try to practice it on the bright side. Everything difficult we go through is an opportunity for growth, everything. And I know that it doesn't make it any easier and it doesn't mean that, you know, it, we just have to, it's hard. We can't just be like, oh great, this difficulty means I'm growing. But if we understand that, then it helps us to take our eyes off the discomfort and the hardship of some of the experiences that we're going through. And if you do find that you are always looking on the bright side, then it's a good time to celebrate that and to, you know, to, to be proud of yourself for doing that. And also when you look back and you see the examples that you wrote, they could encourage you too. So don't feel discouraged if you are someone prone to panic. I am she. Um, I am prone to panic. I do try to see the bright side as well. So if you are like me and you find that I am prone to panic, but I do also see the bright that too. And let this be something that doesn't make you feel like you have to be focusing on your bad points and you know, but it's good to identify some things that aren't serving us and decide to work on them. So I hope that this is a lovely time of self-reflection for you. I hope it opens a door to growth and I hope you are happy as you're journaling. Happy journaling. <laughs> I'm speaking really fast because I need to eat, but speak soon guys.